you, you should be glad you never met me then. You wouldn't want to do anything to do with me if you met me then. Mm -hmm. I was a completely different person than the person that I am today. Completely different. Sometimes I don't even recognize that guy. I was like, who was that guy? I don't think that was me, you know? Mm -hmm. So anyway, that's really how I really saw my life. And then starting at 10, I was really going to school because my parents wanted me to go to school. And if I didn't, you know, there was going to be all sorts of, you know, rather than Rasen. So standard 10, I failed my metric because I was not studying. I didn't really care. I was actually drinking. Um, so, so drinking became like, a, it, it, there was a... The, Did you end up drinking like every day now? So, okay, standard, standard 7, not every day, every weekend, every now, every other weekend. Um, standard 8, it started getting a little bit worse. Standard 9, I mean, it went all the way. Uh, metric, it was whenever there's alcohol I'm drinking. And, and I didn't even need to have money for me to drink. I'll just show up at tavern. I'm going to see someone who I know, and then I'm going to get drunk. That's all. You know? And of course, there were other stuff that we would do. So you had a network? I had a network. So I had a network. I, was, uh, I had my way, you know, around uh, people. Uh, I, used to, <laughs> yeah, I used to be a fun person to have around um, at the time when I was drinking. But at the very same time, I would switch very, very quickly. So that was a problem. Problem was I could easily, I was harboring like anger issues. I had anger issues. So I, I did. They were from home. I think so. I think so. I felt that, you know, the way I grew up was unfair, you know, um, because here I am staying in this particular, um, you know, house, living this particular life. Um, and then my dad on the other side was staying in a much nicer suburb. You know, the guy didn't really... Your dad, your biological... My dad. biological father, yes. yes. So, you know, you know, you, you always feel like, you know, you are a misfit, you know? Um, because at home with my... As I was growing up, because my, my younger brother and also and everyone else, you know, um, yeah, I started feeling... I could feel that it's home, but it's not home. You know that kind of feeling? It's home, but it's not home. Um, so I felt a lot more at home with my grandmother. So how I then moved, um, you know, to go and stay with my grandmother, it's actually when I stopped drinking. So and you already failed my trick then? I'd already failed my trick. You did my trick how many times? Three times? No, 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 just once. <laughs> <laughs> so let me tell you, so let me explain that. So when I was doing my trick, even from standard seven, in standard eight, when I were choosing subjects for my trick, I was looking for the easiest way to go through school. I never really had a vision that, okay, I'm going to start, I'm going to be an engineer, a doctor, or anything of the sort, you know? I was just starting because it's school, it's something you had to do. And um, so I looked for which, was, which, which, which stream do I think is going to be the easiest. So there was the, the least popular stream where I did uh, biology, I did geography, I did um, home economics, mm -hmm. like we cooked, and then we did typing. You did biology typing? Biology what typing, you? geography, home economics. Man, you have messed up. What kind of subject? English and Afrikaans. <laughs> so, I don't, I don't know why that school actually had that combination, but it had that combination, right? So, and then I did that, even when I was doing my trick, I never studied. So out of the, the six subjects I did, uh, I actually passed four, but the fourth one I passed like very, very weak. And then the, the two I failed like outright. Um, without even touching my books, you know? So you can imagine if I, had, if I did study, you know? So I didn't, I didn't fail because I was stupid. I failed because I didn't care. I had no sense of direction. So when did you start caring? You know, because so, the reason I asked this question, you said if somebody had met you back then, they would have met a completely different per person. Mm. So at what point did the turning point come? where now you were saying, I'm turning over a new leaf and becoming a different person, and I'm intentionally now building my life to the point where you are now. Okay. So after having failed on my trick, right, um, I realized that all the guys I was with in class were going were up to no good. Everybody had gone their separate ways. Now I'm on, I'm, I'm on my own. Where did they phase. go? Did they pass? No, most of them. Some of them failed, right? Some, the, sure. some passed. Some, most of them failed. Um, and then they were going their separate ways, right? So now I'm, I'm all alone. Now I have to face my life. 
I was filled with regret because I was like, I was actually at the time that school was one of the best, you know, I was like, you know, I wasted my time. There's a lot I could have done in that particular school, you know, um, I mean, all this money, you know, all it is sacrificing, uh, for me to actually go to school. Uh, <laughs> let me tell you, uh, the depth of the sacrifice. So my, my stepdad used to have what we call Richie Galeza. I'm not sure what you guys call it here in Joburg. Did it take Fuji Galeza? It's like a, it's, it's like the small car that you use as a taxi. Oh yeah, yeah, we have them in Ivory Park. They have what do they call? And in Davidton, you better be telling the Kuluit Zelas ago every Zelas out like Chabat. Kachiban, we call it Kachiban. <laughs> that Kachiban, <laughs> you know it. Yeah, that's the so one. Then, yeah. So, so here's the story. This guy would wake up, say around 4 a.m. He would go to the fresh food, fresh fruit market, right? And he would actually fetch uh, an old lady who were buying uh, fruit and veggies to go and sell because he had to go very early there. And he would make like a few trips, you know, back and forth. And then I would wake up, get ready. Uh, sometimes the car wouldn't start. So when he's about to leave, he would actually come and wake me up and have to kickstart the car at like 4 a.m. or so. Then I'll go back to sleep. 6 a.m. I must be up and get ready. And then I would actually go to the bus stop and wait for him there. Sometimes I would be late at school because, you know, he had problems with the car or whatever. He would come and actually give me uh, money to take a taxi to go to school. Because there wasn't money. There was money just in the, in the petrol so tank. He had to go make the money that day. He had to go day. make the money that day. And then be able to give me the bus fare for me to go to school. So all those sacrifices, right? In my mind, I never really thought about, you know, what was happening. So it was only after failing my trick that I realized actually I messed up, right? But then, I mean, what do we do? And then I drowned my sorrows with drinking even more, you know? So I drank even more and I got into a lot of fights and uh, I got into one particular fight, which, were, which actually began the turning point. In this particular fight, I fought with the guy who was, who didn't care about life just like I did. And I knew the only way our fight would end is if one of us dies. That was the only way. So, and then, you know, after that, because we had a fight and... Who started the fight? You did. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm Tosa, right? Yeah. So as Tosa, at 18, we would go out, we go to the mountain. Initiation school. Yeah. Yeah. So when you come back, even if you're my age, we are not, I'm not, we are not, we are not, we're not the same. I'm a small boy. I'm a nkwe nkwe. Yes. Yeah. yeah what? So who was... <laughs> <laughs> So, it was like, quen, quen, you so, so, so I went there first, right? Sure. So when I came back, so this guy was sort of like disrespecting. Yeah, but you. Yeah. And you're the new hot man. Yeah. And that's where the fight broke up. Yeah, but right. Because uh, I, I can't say you can't let disrespect take its course because then it's going to grow. You need to deal with it there and then. Sure. So I had to deal with the situation there and then. And uh, it was so bad, uh, you know, the guy almost died. You know, that's how bad the situation was. So, and I knew that he was going to revenge. So I was like, you know what? Let me, let him find me sober, not drunk. So I wouldn't even go to the toilet without carrying a knife. That's how bad my life was. Anyway, I went, you know, even if I was sleeping and then he already says, can you go and buy us bread? Even if I was wearing short, I'll need to go and wear a jean and make sure that I've got a knife in the pocket. Okay. Then I can go. Okay, yes. Okapi or Krista. Yeah, man. So yeah. That, that's how bad life was. So then I stopped drinking because I was like, I, I knew where this was going. You had to be sober so that he sober. doesn't find you lucky. Yeah. So, and then he was also healing and going through. You know, this thing was so big that even a Makhrudman area had to get involved and try to make peace between the two of us. But I knew Uguti, he was not going to let it go. He was just going to wait for the right moment, right? So that's why I stopped drinking. So I think a few months, two or three months down the line, there was a 10th crusade, NJ Sator. NJ Sator came with the 10th crusade. And this was like... The pastor. Yeah. Evangelist. Evangelist. Yeah. Yeah. He was called Evangelist NJ Sator. 